Hello there and welcome to another video by the MXQ project. So today's video is all about the Lollipop firmware for the MXQ SF5 TV box. We done a video on this about a month and a half ago and we just showed you how to install it. Now since then we've come across all sorts of different problems with the installation and so on. So the main, in, the main issues were that it, TWRP just didn't seem to want to install it properly. So we've come across this issue ourselves. We've got hardware here and I know that this works with it. Now what we did was simply just re-downloaded re TWRP and it seemed to fix every single issue that we've seen by you guys and that what we've seen as well. So where people have been installing it and loaded it up for the first time and for some reason it wouldn't load Android, it would just load the splash screen, so the free tabs of the splash screen. As well as that other issues where TWRP would try to install it and then just errors would appear all the time. So what I would advise you to do is simply download TWRP again and try the whole process again. It might also help if you try and format your actual NAND flash so you can use the tools within TWRP to format it and wipe some of the system like the catch and stuff like that. Try wiping that and then try again. So what I must stress to you guys is if you don't know what you're doing with this, if you're not sure how to recover your box, if you don't know how to use USB burning tool, or if you're just new to this, I would advise you just don't do this at all. This is totally experimental. The only reason we have got this is because we just tried it out one day. We came across this build for the K1, which also has the SF5 processor, and we just thought to ourselves, let's try it on the MXQ and see if it works. And it does work, but it only will only work on a certain set of hardware, and we find the HD8 and Q models of the MXQ will work, and a few other different models. Now, models we know it won't work on are the B-Link MXQ versions. I don't think it will work on that. I don't think it will work on the M201D, which is the MXQ that ship with half gig of RAM either. So, other than that, this firmware is brilliant, it really is, it's fantastic, and it just shows you what the MXQ SF5 is truly capable of. This processor is now, it's nearly four years old, and it's still showing us loads of new things every single day, and really what it's capable of. I'm really impressed by the performance with its gaming, such as the retro game and so on, so there's really no point in chucking your box out just yet, especially if you just want an updated version of Android, because We've got Libra Rec for this system. If you're if you're trying this for the first time, I suggest you really go and try Libra Rec on your system. Because it's dual boot, it's a really simple process on how to set it up, and it's much, much, much more safer than using this firmware. But that doesn't say this isn't this is crap, because it's not crap, and Abdul's have done a fantastic job on this. There's a few issues that need ironed out, such as the shutdown issue, the current, there's a kernel issue somewhere which doesn't allow it to shut down properly. Obviously the Wi-Fi drivers are limited as well, so more Wi-Fi drivers need to be built into it. But apart from that, if you can get it working, it is a fantastic system. Have a play around with it, and it certainly gives you the opportunity to use an updated version of Android on your old hardware, basically. So hopefully that covers up a few issues. If you are having any issues with TWRP, remember just down, re-download TWRP from us. Try it again, see if it installs. If you're not sure, try LibreLec. See the videos on how to do LibreLec. If, you, if, this is the, if you're wanting a, an updated version of Kodi, for example, LibreLec is the best way to go. It's far superior to running it on Android. But there we go. So I think that concludes this video. I hope it helps you a little bit in getting it working. Do check out the actual original video on how to do on how to install it and then go from there so if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you dislike it, dislike and hopefully we'll see you on the next video come over to the facebook group we've got the website as well and we've got the forum and thanks for watching guys it really does mean a lot to me that you watch my content and we shall see you on the next video